the first one say given that E is equal to W times R minus R times capital R minus small r over 2 R P. Make R capital R the subject of the formula. To do that, first of all, let's first multiply. This multiplied by 1 will have W times R minus R equal to E times this will give us 2 E R P. I want to make capital R the subject of this equation. First of all, let's this will give this W. This W will multiply each term in this bracket. W times capital R is W R and W times small r with w r equal to 2 e r p since i want capital r to be the subject i will bring all the terms that have capital r together so that i have w r minus 2 e r p equal to moving this to the other side will be w r we are looking for this capital R and it is common to these two terms here so we can factor it out so I have minus 2EP equal to WR dividing both sides by W minus 2EP W minus 2EP so this can cancel this R therefore is W R over W minus 2 E P. That is the subject of the equation. The big part of that question says find the value of R correct to three significant figures when small R is square, P e is 60, W is 1024, and E is 5 over 6. So we're going to substitute those values into this equation. R therefore will be capital and uh, sorry W is what? W is 1020 and uh, 24 rather. Then multiply by small r which is 12. Divided by W again 1024 minus 2 times e e is 5 over 6 2 times 5 over 6 times what is p p is 60 okay r therefore will be 1024 times you have 1024 multiplied by 12 is 12,288 12,288 divided by let's reduce this 6 year 1 6 year 10 1,024 minus 2 times 5 is 10 10 times 10 100 I have 1,288 Divided by 1024 minus 100, 924. So 12,288 divided by 924. 13 13.299 and the question said to three significant figures so taking this to three significant figures will be 13 points this nine round off to one one plus this two the answer is 13.3 question 27 so given that d is equal to ln over k plus L u square over 25. 
make u the subject of the formula, b find the value of u when b is 6, l is 8, m is 1, and k is 18. We want to make u the subject of the formula. To do that, let's first of all solve this fraction. And the LCM of this fraction, LCM of k and 25 is 25k. So I'm going to multiply each term of this equation by 25k so I can clear the fraction. 25k multiplied by d over 1 is equal to 25k multiplied by lm over k plus 25k multiplied by l u squared over 25. K will cancel K. 25 will cancel 25. And 25K times D here will have 25KD equal to 25 times LM. It's 25LM LU square. Since we want to make U the subject, we need to clear any term surrounding you so you can be alone. So I'm starting by moving this 25 L and to this side so that I have 25 K D minus 25 L N equal to L U square. 25 is common. So factor it out 25 into K D minus L M equal to L U square. To get U, we divide both sides by L by L U square is equal to 25 times K D minus L M all over L. To get rid of this square, we need to square both sides. So that u will be, we need to take the square root of both sides rather. The square root of 25 kv minus ln over l. The question says, find the value of u when d is equal to 6, l is 8, m is 1, and k is 18. So substituting all of that into the equation we have 25 times k is 18, 18 times d is 6 minus l is 8 and m is 1 all over l, l is 18 so u equal to square root of 25 times 18 times 6, 108, minus 8 times 1 is 8, all over 8. U equal to square root of 108 minus 8 is 100. 100 times 25 is 2500 over 8. 2500 divided by 8, 312.5. The square root of 312.5 is 17.68. U is 17.68. Here we have make t the subject of the relation s equal to y times 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. Now to make t the subject, so let's cross multiply this y is over 1 x rather is over 1 and 1 times this still remains as y times 1 minus t squared equal to x times 1 plus t squared we want to make t the subject first of all let's distribute this y y multiplied by this is y y multiplied by this is y t squared equal to s multiplied by this is x and s multiplied by this is s t squared. Bringing all the terms with t 
together so that I can factorizes. So I'm going to change this s to this side. So I have y minus x equal to s t square and y t square. When it crosses, this is minus y t square. When it crosses, it will come plus y t square here. T square is common. So I'll factor it out. T square into x plus y. Dividing both sides by x plus y, x plus y. So this can cancel this. T squared, therefore, is y minus x over x plus y. Taking the square root of both sides, t will be square root of y minus x over x plus y. So the nice is given that 1 over u plus 1 over v is equal to 1 over f. Find u in terms of f and v. That is what to make u the subject. 1 over u will be 1 over f minus 1 over v. Since I want to make u the subject of this equation, First of all, let me solve this fraction on the right hand side. So 1 over u will be v minus f over fv. As LCM of fv is fv, fv divided by f is v, v times 1 is v, fv divided by v is f, f times 1 is f. But I want to make u the subject, so u times v minus f is equal to 1 times f v is f v. So, dividing both sides by v minus f, v minus f, so this can go, u is equal to f v over v minus f. And if you in terms of v, and the value of u when v is 14 to 50 and f is 2, um, 2 to quarter. So putting on this value into the equation, f is 2 whole number, 2 over 4, and multiply by v, which is 14 whole number, 2 over 5. All over v, v is 14 whole number, 2 over 5, minus f, which is 2 whole number, 2 over 5. U, therefore, will be, let's change this to the improper fraction, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus this is 10, 10 over 4 multiplied by 14 times 5, 70, 70 plus 2, 72, over 5, all over 72, over 5, minus 10, over 5. Like I made a mistake, it is supposed to be over 4, not over 5. This is 2 whole number 2 over 4. Okay. 5 here 1. 5 here 2. One. 4 here 1. 4 here. 4 in 7 is 1. Remember 3 point that is 2 is 8. So we have 2 times 18 over LCM of 5 and Four oh, here is 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 4 times 72. 72 times 4. 2 88. 2 88. Minus 20 divided by 4. 5. 5 times this is 50. 2 88 minus 50 is 2 38. So here we have 2 38. 
over 20. Two times 13 is 38 divided by 238. This is 36, not 38. 36. Then over 238 over 20, which is 36 multiplied by 20 over 238. Thirty six times twenty seven twenty seven twenty divided by two thirty eight two thirty eight three point zero two five three point zero two five approximately question thirty make it the subject of the relation P equal to N G cos theta all over k cube. This is over 1 to cross multiply. We have v k cube is equal to n g cos theta. So we want to make k the subject, we divide both sides by v k cube. Therefore, is equal to n g cos theta over v. To get rid of this cube here, I need to take the cube root of both sides. So k will be cube root of ng cos theta over v. Then given that m is 21, g is 9.8, theta is 48.5, and v is 1000, find k correct to three significant figures. K therefore putting in all of those values the cube root of m according to the equation is 21 times g is 9.8 and cos theta is 48.5 theta is 48.5 all over v is 1000 Cos 48.5, 0 0.20378 approximately, then multiply by 9.8, multiply by 21, times 9.8, times 21, 41.9382, cube root of 41, Point nine three eight two divided by one thousand. You put out that, and this divided by one thousand is zero point zero four one nine four. The cube root of zero point zero four one nine four. You put out that to be. 0 0.37, 0 0.3474, 0 0.3474. Oh, but the question says, correct the three significant figure expressing your answer in standard form. First of all, let's express this in standard form. This is the 3.4, that is 3.47 times 10 to the power of how many times that will be 1 negative 1 